Hello folks, today we're playing Seeds of Resilience. This is a turn-based, sort of, island survival game. Um, and it came out originally in 2018, but now it's about to hit its 1.0 release on June the 13th, 2019. And this is by Subtle Games, um, so thanks to them for giving me a key to this to check it out before the final release. So we're going to choose the Comfort at Last mission, the first three are like tutorially, um, and this one is when things start to get a little tougher. Um, the thing the main action is probably in the survival mode, but the missions provide a very good so I can step into the game. So we're going to do this. I did very badly last time I played this um, off camera, but now I think I'm a bit more adept at things. So first of all, I need to choose a team of three out of the unlocked characters. I'm going to choose ones which already have some skills. So we'll choose a survival skill, a fishing skill, and a farming skill one. They've also got other traits. But let's get going with this. Um, even the missions are procedurally generated, so every time you play a mission, even if you play through a mission again, um, you will actually get a different island. So here are our lads. Tops off for rafting! Right, we will never see them again. <laughs> Once they've actually landed, that's it. And we can build wherever we want, we can hoik up wherever we want, and we can do... Well, we basically have to survive, really. Um, top right are our objectives. That's how much food we need per day. And we've got zero. When, so long as we stock it, ourselves up with six, uh, we should be good. That's how many uh, level bits of housing we've got. We don't need to worry about that just for now. And here's our year thing in the bottom right. We're currently in spring. Um, and they'll go into summer and so on. And every time you see one of these symbols tick round, that's going to be a storm. So we've got to be careful about that. That'll blow away crappy houses that we've got. So there are the three characters that we've got on, um, at the moment. Each of them has this, like, six hours, whatever, five hours. And that means how much work they can do per day. So you've got to be very crafty about what you do. Um, so let's, first of all, let's um, spend the first day... Uh, first of all, let's make sure we've got some food. So I'm going to gather... I'm going to use you to actually get six crabs which are like the most basic food unit of all so it'll automatically just bung stuff over there so now we have six foods on the, on the right so we are going to be okay for tonight and now we can use our other lads to maybe investigate what's on the beach this will give us some random good trove that'll give us some planks we don't necessarily need planks right now so let's not worry about that also harvest the raft because we don't need that That'll give us some, I think, some string and something else as well, something wood-related. Anything else around. So distance isn't a problem in this game. You can just choose whatever you want. They don't, it's not as if they're walking around the island or anything. Can't really see much other stuff, so let's just be harvesting... Oh, actually, he's tired now. Savarog. He was actually a good farmer, so we'll put you to use doing stuff farming-related. I'll also be gathering some, some of this, which will be straw. In my last playthrough, I didn't gather enough before winter and all the plants died, so I had, it, it took ages for me to do anything when it comes to building, so I'm going to be a bit more cautious about that this time. Right, so I've gathered a lot of stuff, and I think that's it for today. Let's move on. This, that six out of six will go down to zero of six, because everyone needs two bits of food every day. Uh, yeah, we do need to work towards making houses and things. So we do need to reach survival level 2 with one of the characters and woodworking level 2. So what I'll do is start thinking about making an axe so we can chop down trees, which will improve the woodworking skill. A survival skill are things like making axes and stuff. So we'll make sure that the um, it's the survival lad, who's already got one star, we want to get him to level 2. Um, you can be the one who makes all our stuff. Um, I really should. What I should do... Oh, I should know you're a survival guy. Um, Savarag is actually farming. Yes, right, okay. So, your Amelia will be the tool maker. Well, talk. You you can be the fish person. But for now, I'll just I'll, I'll set you up fishing later. But for now, I'm just going to um, stick with the crabs. They don't replenish quickly. Anyway, that makes damn sure that we've got something going for later. So, let's have a look at our tools. We could use a fish prodder or a spear, and uh, an axe. So what do we need for the fish product? We need bamboo, so we'll get Svarog to do the actual harvesting of the bamboo. Have a look, there's some bamboo. Although that needs an axe, so let's go for some smaller bamboo. Young giant bamboo, there we go. Actually, we don't need to, we need one. We've, got, we've already got the string from those cattails, so now... Uh, Amelia will take that stuff and craft us a fish prodding spear lad thing. So now Savarog, who's a far... Oh no, hang on. Tork, who's a fisher person, can get the spear. But there's nothing for you to do today. That'll be ready for tomorrow. 
So Amelia now needs to make another tool. We haven't got any... We haven't got much. So let's get some pebbles from the beach. That's all we need there. And we need some br branches, so we need to find a good tree. We can use any of the type of trees for this. If I just hack down a... A young fir tree, that's it. We don't actually need any axes for this because it's so small. This will give us some branches. And will actually give us what we need to craft... Who is a survival guy? So let's craft an axe. So let's see. Um, survival skill, you're at 80% of getting of leveling up. So if we make one more tool, that should actually um, get us up to level 2 of survival for you. Which would be nice. Not quite sure there's much else we can do there, though, for today. Um, we could try and make a pickaxe, actually. In fact, yes, look, we've actually got all the ingredients for a pickaxe. And that takes three hours. And we've got three hours, so that's perfect. With any luck, this will take us up to level 2 survival. Yes, there we go. We're now an expert. Amelia is now our survival expert. Now, there is one thing po worth pointing out as well. It doesn't really make this very clear until you start dying. Uh, the characters are losing health because we're not sleeping them in houses at the moment. So we need to actually get that going quite quickly. Anyway, what are we doing now? We've got a bit of more turn to spoke. Four more hours to, for Svarag to do his business. Let's have a look at what we can do housing-wise. Uh, we'll have to start with a crappy house. Um, let's do this. Let's just do a crappy house. And it'll probably get blown away in the storm, but it looks like we need six branches and three brooms. Right, so let's start with the the branch. Oh, there's 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 a broom there. Let's um. In fact, we could have we got any axe action going on? We haven't actually assigned these tools yet, but there's no real point because we haven't got anything to um pickaxe at the moment. The, uh, the we'll give you. Okay, we'll give you. No, actually, we'll give you um the. Uh, the axe. So you can chop down some stuff. And we'll, that will actually work your woodworking skill. Ch and big trees take a long time to harvest, so we can't really do much there. What about you? Well, I think we just need to go for branches at the moment. So let's go for these young oaks. What's that over there, actually? What's this? A young fir. Ooh, that's actually a bit more... Oh, what? Mm. Trouble is I'm dividing. You need to actually focus on just one type of tree. Otherwise, you, you'll end up like, getting four out of six for all of these and not be able to do anything. So let's concentrate on fur, because they're actually cheaper to do. There we go. And we just need the roofing now. Unfortunately, everyone's tired now, so we'll send them all to bed. They'll eat all the food. I can smell a strong wind coming. Pop. <laughs> everyone's mm, reasonably healthy, but the trouble is if I build a shelter now, it's, the, the problem is it's, it might blow away. And uh, we'll have lost all that work. However, it'll give us a couple of days. So, broom branch. We need a bit more broom. I can never remember what they exactly look like. Is that it? That is... Mm, one, two, three. Now we can place this down somewhere. There we go. And now we need to spend nine hours actually making the damn thing. I don't really want to do that just yet. What I want to do is use Torx to start fishing. This needs a spear, so I can select the fish. Do, 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 do. And then we've got enough. We don't have to rely on crabs. Now, once you actually get um, a bit more adept, um, you can make a... Well, in fact, I might even be able to make a campfire already. Because then we can cook the fish and get more out of the fish, essentially. Make it more efficient. See if I can actually do that yet. Workshops. We need a bit more pebble action. So let's get you getting some pebbles. And put the campfire there. Right, now means... I'm not sure who can do this, but... You should be able to do it. Right, okay, so we can take those six fish that we've got. And we'll basically end up... I think this is, ends up either doubling or tripling the value of a fish, but you have to put in some time. Uh, survival people will make, do this quicker, I think. Okay, so we've used three fish. Oh yeah, that's trebled them. Not enough branches. Okay, we see, oh god, we need another branch. Okay. Um, that needs a regular crap tree. Let's try and find a fir tree. It's an oak tree. That would spend too long doing that. Um, it's all broom. I can hear frogs croaking. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a, it's a major fir tree. Um, let's... Use who's who's got the axe? No one's got the axe. Hmm. Can't remember who was supposed to be doing that. Let's, let's just use you. Right now we can. 
Now we can do some cooking. Again. And now we've got loads of food. That'll keep us surviving for two days. Uh, meanwhile, let's put in the rest of the work on the large shelter. Unfortunately, we haven't actually, we won't actually complete it today. We've got another three hours of work on that. So that's it for today. Tomorrow, we won't have to worry about gathering food, which is nice. Svarag is about to die. Yeah, that's because of the whole lack of house situation. How much? Just how interesting. That's 25 health. Um, every day, Svarag is losing 10 health. So we could actually wait another day. Um, if we, cause the trouble is, if, it, if this blows away, we'll have wasted it. So I'm not sure I really want to build it today. So I might leave it till tomorrow and, and sacrifice Svarag's health a little bit. This might be a good thing. It might not be. It'll probably be a terrible thing. What I really need to do is get a better house like this, which will require a lot more work, require tr lots of wood cut down and stuff like that. But it's not too bad. We've got all the straw and everything. So we don't need to worry about food. In fact, I really should be concentrating on this. Let's try and get um, oak trunks on the go. So who's got the axe? It's being passed around like a whore, this axe. Um, you've started to earn woodworking skill. That's good. So let's concentrate. Amelia, you can do the, the chopperoo. Let's again concentrate on fir trees. Um, there you are. Six hours this takes. I don't want to... Might as well do that because the chestnuts take nine. The, the oaks take forever. Uh, is that, that's another chestnut. Right, so let's get you. That's most of your work done for the day. Uh, let's look at our inventory. We have one oak trunk. We have three fir trunks. That's what we should be concentrating on. Good. That'll, ta that'll take us another few days to actually get going with that. But for now, we want, we want this going. But uh, I could do some more fishing. Let's see. I think... Oh, that's some, unfortunately, that's not trunkage. That's actually ends up with wooden beams. So we don't really want to worry about that just yet. Let's be. Let's see. What should we do? I'm tempted to get them harvest more of this. Let's use you to actually harvest a few more cattails for straw. Right. Good. Right, next, let's have a look at if we need to do anything else. I could do with doing the, this sort of farming. This sort of farming is actually better, and because then you can. Well, it's, it's just more efficient, really. We, unfortunately for that, we need straw. We need string, which we can make. Oh, we haven't got any fibre. Uh, now, fibre is... Is that from the cattails? No, it's not. We do need we do need some shells, though. If we're going to make a fish hook. Okay, fibre, fibre, fibre. There's a lot of things you need to remember. Ah, here we go. Flax. Now I can craft and double craft. And uh, so we just need we need to make a fishing hook out of that shell that we gathered. Someone who's not so tired. And we need to get a little more bamboo, just a little wee more bam bit of bamboo. Someone, if someone's got an axe, I'll, I'll make you have the axe temporarily. So we can cut that down. Then we can make a fishing thing. We need to put this where there's lots of fish, so we'll do it there. Construct that. And now, we can f spend an hour fishing. Which we might as well do with him. There, got two fish out of that. Right, let's end the day because we've run out of stuff. Now this is going to be the storm night. Let's hope this um, half-built shelter doesn't blow away. No, it didn't. Because <laughs> if that's a full-blown shelter, it might blow away. Yeah, over the storm. Wind oh, the, strength, the wind wasn't very strong anyway. And sometimes trees fall over as well. But it looks like we actually um, randomly got lucky there. So, first things first. Oh, shit, I just <laughs> harvested something at random there. First things first, let's put in the work to finish this off. Who's crap? Talk, we'll, be we'll need you. Svarag. Well, let's... Let's make you put in the work for this. So now we have a shelter. Let's assign everyone. Oop, <laughs> missed. Oh, God damn it! Hang on. There. Now everyone's not going to be losing health at night. Especially Svarag, who's down to 15. Right, okay, good. We have secured ourselves some shelter. Now let's concentrate on reaching woodwork level 2. So Svarag can start 
doing the old chopperoo. Unfortunately, I should have used you, haven't I? I really should have actually done that. Okay, bugger. I need to have... Actually, are you the woodworking guy? Oh, no, I think Amelia. Amelia is um, the one who I want to give the axe to. Good, right, okay. Although, having said that... Who's... Who's the best? Who's doing the best at the moment? I think it might actually be Amelia. Yes, it is. So let's try and get you. Let's make you the woodworking level 2 person. Uh, I gain concentrate on furs, I think. It also gets the wood that we need for that other thing that we need, which is... The... We can already make a level 1. Uh, uh, a, a one-person hut. But I really want to get the, the, the three-person one, because that seems to be the, the most efficient. So yes, we've all, we need two more fur trunks to actually get this going. We need a bit more bamboo. And we've got... We do actually need more sticks as well, so... Let's see if there's anything small we can cut down. A young oak? That'll get us some... The wrong sort, though. I could do with a young... Fir tree. There's not that many fir trees left already. I can plant new trees. God, I'm going to have to, aren't I? There really aren't very many fir trees. There's a young one over there. But I, thankfully, I think I might... Let's see how long it takes before they actually grow. Four turns. Hmm. I'll probably just harvest the small ones tomorrow. Right, so you need to do some fishing. I don't think we've got any fish to cook at the moment. Oh, actually, what am I doing? I can just do that, can't I? Fish. There we go. Go to the campfire. Raw fish, I can make them do this twice. I have to be with someone else, though. Oh, you should have been using you, because you're actually more efficient at doing it, because you're a survival... I'm not sure if it's farming or survival, but that only take if you do it, it only takes an hour. If the other person does it, it takes two hours. Right, so we've got plenty of food now, again for two days. So that's all good. So you've still got a bit of time. I could I could just harvest blackberries for food as well. Um, they do die off in the in, later on in the year. Uh, do, do we need to actually get anything else? Let's, um, let's get some more cattails again for... Because well, we will be needing those at some point soon. We want to got a little bit of... Oop, I think I've, did I just harvest a frog? I think I did. I just harvested a frog by mistake. Never mind. I think you have to cook that to eat it. Right, so that's today. Now they should actually be recovering health. Savarag will get off... Hopefully go up from 15 to... More. Hmm. Yes, you're back up to 25. That's good. Right, so now we need to again do the whole axing thing. Now this time, because they've slept better, they will actually we've actually they'll actually be able to do more work today, which is nice. So axe time. Amelia. Oh, you only got eight hours, that's not great. So that gets us two things and six branches. What do we need? Oh, initial fact, if we just chop one down, that'll be enough. Because that gives us two. Okay, that's... Oh, we need a bit more bamboo, and then we can start building this thing. Who's got the axe? Oh, we've actually... Oh, no, we've run out of axe. Okay, survival person. It's time for you to shine with your axe-building abilities. We've only got rudimentary axes. Later on, when we get smithing going on, we can make bronze axes and things. We need a bit more string... Which means we need a bit more fibre. <laughs> I almost forgot again exactly how to do that, but I'm good. Right, tools, 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 tools. Craft. Right. So, I'll give you the axe again. So now we should, 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 should be able to get the bamboo down. I'm going to make sure I can see what I'm building. Just need a bit more of that. And we have everything we need. Oh, no, we haven't got, any, we haven't got quite got enough fir branches. So we do need to do a little bit more chopping. I think I'd, fir branches, I'd just, I should just be able to uh, get from this small one. I will have to give you the axe instead. In fact, actually, I'll give you the axe instead. And chop that down. And now we can finally build our big house. Which can go somewhere fairly useless. 
a lot of these red dots around. But you can go there. Good. Uh, this is going to take 34 of our English hours to actually build this. Um, but thankfully we've already got a shelter, so that's not a huge issue. But we also need to concentrate on our objectives as well. That'll keep us definitely secure later on. Okay, so woodworking level 2 is definitely what we need to do now. You, unfortunately, need to do a lot more um, tree chopping before we can get up to level 2. But we can look at the, getting a wood workshop as well, which comes under here. There's metal, that's wood. So for this, we'll need a bunch more stuff again. So we'll, we'll actually need to chop a lot of things down to get the raw materials. So it'll probably be woodworking level 2 and then the wood workshop. But we can be doing some things. Although I really need to focus on do mm. Well, let's be doing some food stuff. Let's get talk in on it. These run out eventually. These. Oh, god damn it. Fish. But we might as well get as much as possible. Uh, do some fishing. Do some cooking. We need some branches though. Which is annoying. That'll get us a couple. Fish. Times two. And that gets us where we need to be, I think. Look, we've got supplies for days now. And with these remaining, like, one hours here and there, I'll just, I shall just grab a few random things. Um, like that. Then we can move on to day seven. This is a, a target of 20 days. Um, but, yeah, I think... Oh, oh, no. Hang on. Our food, our food issue has become an, an, another issue. <laughs> because we've now got two more people. Oh, bugger. Okay, that's good and bad. Good because we get more work, but bad because we've got to find another four bits of food every day. Because look, we're five. Oh, one of them must be a hungry lad. I don't know. But we've got enough food for tonight, so that's at least one thing. Well, let's put you to use. Davram and Sharni. Let's put you... Both of whom are good smithers, weirdly. We're going to put you to use, actually, use, recycling all your gubs. And those as well. That'll give us a bit more supplies. Uh, and anything else. I might as well get those as well. There. Stuff. Right, so this, I think these new person can put in nine hours of work on this hut. You can add an extra hour. And unfortunately, we need more housing. So it's actually a good job that we're building some, I guess. Uh, nice. Okay, so woodworking. Right, so the axe lad is... You, Amelia, you've got eight hours to do things. Uh, I guess I'll concentrate again on furs, but there were some more furs somewhere around here. There's one. I can press control to actually see behind things if necessary. But let's try and actually get this fur tree. Now it's down to four hours to harvest this, because I think now I'm actually um, getting better at this. So we still need to get up to level two, though. Did I actually not cut that down? Oh, I need, oh, I need the axe. That's why. There we go. I think there is another... F there's, a, there's a few small fir trees around. There's a, oh, there's a big lad up there as well. So you're up to 29%. This is going to take a while before I can get up to um, the level 2, which is a bit annoying. But say this, we can also be concentrating on getting this. We've now got enough fir trunks to make this. We need a bit more bamboo. Oh, that's good, though. This is, we're actually getting very close. Let's use you, Sfarag, to get that bamboo. Oh, actually, we need the axe, so... Who's got the axe now? Have we just used up all the axe? Oh, no, we haven't. It's Amelia. Now, you just borrow the axe for a bit. Get some bamboo. Then we can actually build our wood workshop. Again, lots of work to put in on this. Now, we've got enough food, so let's... First of all, let's concentrate on putting the work in on this, though. 19 out of 34. 29 out of 34, so that's getting very close. Uh, that's all we can do for today. Nice. There's another storm coming in, what, two days' time? Right. So now we need to worry about food, because we, we need a bunch of that. So let's, let's get the interface open over here. I'll make the... I'm not sure if I'm making sure it's the, fish, the fishing person doing this. It gets them more, gets you more food out of it or something, but I don't know. 
Oh, okay. I, I did that second time and nothing happened. So this is now exhausted for whatever reason. Uh, so we may need to recycle that. We get most of our stuff back for that and put it somewhere else. Let's put it... Rotate it. There. Now we can fish again. And hopefully that should give us enough well, fish to do our campfire, which is there. Fish. Oh, you're the wrong person. I should, be, should always be using the survival person for this. There. 14 out of 11. That's good. We are now f full of foods, which is nice. Let's put in the hours for this, using someone who doesn't really do much. Right. Oh, god damn it, I've harvested something again. Right. Now we put in a few of these people. I'll also put in you as well. Yeah, it's good. This is a better house. It's got more insulation and stuff. Right, so now everyone's housed. So that's going to be good. Now we can really focus on everything else. God damn it. <laughs> so we need to do a bit more axing. We're up 29%. This ain't great. Let's, I'm not going to do the fir trees anymore. I'm going to go... I'm going to concentrate on other stuff. Let's go for the chestnuts. Oh, God. I keep on passing the axe around. Oh, I need to make another one. So, anyway, yeah, so I'll concentrate on this for a bit. Just gradually getting up the, the, f the wood. So, this is the following day, and it's now autumn. Um, all the colours have changed. Very pretty. Uh, right, so, yes, I've got a bit further with the, um, the woodworking thing, but it's taking quite a while. We've got a storm the next day, but that shouldn't be a problem with any luck. And what I'm going to do now is finish off the wood workshop. So, who's crap? You're crap. Finish you off. Now I can make chestnut rods and chestnut beams, plus all the other types of wood. And beams will be useful for one of our later objectives. We have actually completed that objective just now, so we just need now to do the whole woodworking levelling up thing. This does take a while, but it will unlock more buildings. And one of the things that we're actually aiming towards. So... We just need to, like, survive today. I've got the relevant fish for the day. Unfortunately, I think this is now tapped out. Let me just double check. Yeah, this is this is tapped out again. Did not give us much fish, this one. Oh, someone, someone else needs to do that. Recycle. I shall we be rebuilding this today. You've only got one left, so let's get, use you to get some cattails. Is that a dead cattail plant? I think things might be getting dead, and, which is rather irritating. Right, so someone needs to do some building of the fish arium. Fish, 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 fish. I don't know what I'm looking at. There we go. Let's put it up here this time. And therefore, you can... I keep on thinking that's the fish, but that's not. That's the, that's the farming one. Farming skill. Nobody else actually has the fishing skill at the moment who's not tired. I'll just use some regular old Joe then. We're getting two fish a pop there, which is nice. You see these red the red fish are depleting whenever I do that. Anyway, we should now be able to cook some more fish. You're the survival guy, so you'll be able to do this quicker. There. Two days worth of food now. Which is nice. And don't think we need to worry about any of these other buildings for this scenario. I think it's just a bit of a... Because I, I spent a long time trying to build all these random buildings last time. For no reason, as it turned out. Because all we need to do is build... The, the, the point of the scenario is to build a, a better hut than this one. Um, and that's basically it. Then you'll just finish. Is there anything else we need to do? I think I just need to harvest. Um, unfortunately, we don't know exactly what we'll need. We don't know what quite what we'll need for the next type of house here, which will complete the objective. Which, and the clue, it will be using the wood workshop. And we could be actually making some beams. It's just that maybe I don't have anyone... I'll need to get someone else um, doing woodworking as well. But what I'll be doing... I might actually get someone else doing some chopping. But I don't know. Let's just... I'll do some gathering first, I think. Cause with the fl There's no point in getting the flax because that's... Yeah, no longer... Yeah. That's the trouble with autumn. Things are starting to die off. So what I'm going to do is grab a load of this. We will need the straw. For reasons I can no longer remember. But if you don't have any straw over the winter, you're kind of doomed to actually be able to do anything. Well, some, some things, anyway. 
Oh, we've got acorns. Might be able to replant stuff. Which is a bit pointless. Because the scenario won't last that long. Right, so you can harvest some of this as well. And what I am going to do as well, because I know this is going to be necessary. I think, anyway. I'm going to get some of this clay. It doesn't make it obvious how you get clay in this game, but you have to sort of like and rip it out of the ground using this remove soil tool. Right, so we've got another storm now. Hopefully it won't damage things too much. Oh uh, no, all fine. It's getting cold around here, I should prepare for winter. Oh, something just turned, a crate just turned up, so let's just open that. Oh, tomatoes, I think. I think I've just given us a bunch of food. Yes, it has. Also got a crate over here, which has given us some... Something that looks like we can... Either flour or seeds or something. Uh, so we don't need to worry about food in this turn. Uh, we need to get the axe girl up and running. Amelia. Still only at 59%. Uh, that's going to take... Oh, God. A long time to chop. These fir trees have all grown up now, so let's do two of them. If we... Have you got the axe? No, again, you haven't got the axe. Up to 79%. Oh, this is mm, going to take a while. Right, so last day before winter. Uh, all the cattails have now died off, so I'm glad I gather, gather them all in. So now we should actually be able to finally get this whole um, wood situation sorted. There we go. Someone's now level 2. Amelia is now level 2. And now we've completed those objectives, and now we have to build the cob house to finish things off. Uh, which should be quite straightforward, hopefully, but we will need to do a bit more woodworking than what we're looking at. Here it is, the cob house. We, can only, we only need to do it for one, just to complete things. But we do need, um, essentially, six beams, um, loads of straw, which is why I made sure that I gathered some. We need four, actually, but, you know. And we also need the clay that we were talking about earlier. So first of all, let's get the wood workshop going. Not quite sure what we need here. Oh no, wrong thing, hang on. Chestnut beam. We've actually got loads of both fur and... Let's go for fur, because this is easier. It's going to take a couple of hours each time. So we won't be able to do the rest today. Uh, we'll need another four. Somebody else. Let's make it Davram. You can get some more clay. There we go. And we've got loads of food. Again. Uh, who's a fisher person? There you are. We'll get some more, though. Oh, no, I think we've run out of fish there, so let's get this. Loads of food. Do not need to worry about that at all. So, f this wise, we've got, all we've got everything other than the fur beam. I'm trying to train up some of the other people up into um, woodworking as well. So they can work on the logs. There you go, you're now adept. So now, now you can also make... What was it? Fur. We've already got two of these, so it's going to take you two hours. There we go. Now we've got four. We only need two more, and then we can start building our new thing. These other lads don't really have much else to do. Uh, and because we're about to complete the scenario, we don't really need to do anything with them. Um, I'm actually going to jump into winter now, even though we've, we've wasted quite a lot of stuff there. Normally you wouldn't do that. Now we have snow. Eventually things will ice up, but you get a bit of a grace period. Right, so let's do a bit more crafting. Preferably someone else. There we go. Now we should have enough stuff to make our thing. We can build this. There. This is going to take 40, 49 hours. So I think it's going to be, because we've got all the food, this is going to be all hands to the pump. And you. Oh, one hour off. <laughs> ah. Okay, day number two of this building job. Oh my god, who are you? <laughs> it's some bloke. Oh, hello. Hello. Day 13, turn 13. Uh, we've definitely... um. You know what? Maybe I did complete the last one in under 20 turns. Ah, I don't know. Anyway, who cares? Victory! <laughs> yes, we have built our cob house. Just for one person. And we've un unlocked... Well, we 
I unlocked Shani last time, who was a starting smithy, so we didn't need to worry too much about them. But that's it. We have completed our mission. And then we go into the um, food for the crews one, store 50 units of food, infinite summer, and all that. Right, nice. Okay, so this is out in 1.0 on June the 13th, as I've said, but it's already available as, as it is. So, no, really. Right, so thanks for watching. Do um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel, keep us all going. Um, all the links are in the description, and I'll see you next time.